Good day everyone! I am Jonathan Ledesma and this is my channel, The Real Jonathan Ledesma. And as of today after, I don't know, but as of today, I'll be teaching you how to play flute. How to play a recorder flute. And just to tell you something about flute, flute has seven holes. The seven holes represents the seven sofa syllables. What is the seven sofa syllables? So, Seven holes represents the seven sofa syllables, which is the Do, the Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, and Ti. That is the seven sofa syllables in MBA. Every hole represents a sofa syllable. And you have to close them. You have to get all of your seven fingers to cover them. And in, and in covering the sphere flute using your fingers, you have, there's, you, you won't just be covering them entirely. There's a system. Your left hand should be on the top and your right hand should be on the bottom of the flute. Three fingers on your left hand, which is the pointing finger, the bad finger, and the ring finger will cover the first three holes on the top. And your four fingers on your right hand which is the index finger the bad finger the ring finger and your pinky will cover the four remaining holes and mind you guys you have to cover them entirely because if there's a small hole that was left uncovered your flute will sound like a chicken like ah! so you have to cover them entirely so that your flute will sound like a flute and your thumb on your left hand will cover the your co will cover this hole at the back. There you go. That's the right way and the right form in covering your flute. Either you're a left-handed or right-handed, this is the form. And this is the sound. And if you left a hole uncovered slightly, this is the sound. So you should have a firm sound like this. And mind you again, simply by blowing the flute, you should blow ta ta on the flute. Ta 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 ta. Why? You may be asking, why should I blow like a T? Wait, because by simply by blowing, by blowing ta ta on the flute, it will create a sharper sound, a better sound, and a more, a far more better sound. You will see the difference, ah. Huh? Can you see the difference? Simply by using the way the ta way, you can blow properly on the flute. And it creates better and sharper sounds, just like what I've said earlier. And again, just a quick recap, okay? Sim in using flute, left hand on the top and the right hand on the bottom. Pointing finger, bad finger. Ring finger of your left hand, pointing finger, bad finger, ring finger, and pinky on the bottom. That's the proper way in, in covering your flute. And now let's drop the beat. I'm just joking. Let's drop on how to, how to use the flute, okay? This is Do. That's the, that's the very low, that's the lowest tune of your flute. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, and Do. Hi, Do. Hello, Do. I'm just joking. Hi, Do. And simply by removing one finger at a time, the sofa syllable gets higher and higher. As we start from the lowest, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, and Do. And now I'll be playing it and all you have to do is watch me whip and watch and listen carefully, okay?
Let's go back. That's the proper way to do the sofa syllables in flute. And please, as after you watch this video, please practice. Practice. And if you get frustrated that you cannot get it on one, one practice, practice tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, next week, next month. Because I've been playing with flute for almost... I don't know, maybe five years, six years, and I, I just learned by myself because there's no, I don't, ha we don't have internet back then. So I keep on playing until now. I can play songs. We can see the process of improvement. So there's no shortcuts. You have to start from scratch. Start from scratch, and create your own talent, please. So. I'll be presenting again the sofa syllables, okay? All you have to do is to listen. I hope you learned something on my video. Thank you so much. And please watch my future videos. Thank you so much and goodbye.